Welcome to my latest case, The Curse of Blackmore Manor. To start, choose junior or senior detective. If you're new to adventure games or need some help, choose Gameplay Overview. Dear Ned, greetings from jolly old England. Although right now I'm not so sure about the jolly part. That's because I'm on my way to Blackmore Manor, where the daughter of one of our neighbors is living. The daughter, whose name is Linda, recently married Hugh Pendleton, a British diplomat. Hugh travels a lot, so the only people at the manor with Linda are Hugh's aunt, Mrs. Drake, and Hugh's 12-year-old daughter, Jane. The thing is, ever since Linda moved into the manor, her health has gone downhill. She's practically bedridden, and no one seems to know why. Her mother is convinced something is terribly wrong and wants me to find out what. So here I am, about to be dropped off at a huge centuries-old mansion in the middle of a dark, foggy moor. <laughs> I can't tell whether the butterflies in my stomach are because I'm excited or just a tad creeped out. Talk to you soon. I hope. Nancy. Night, Mish. Good luck. Nancy. Who's there? Hello? child over there I mean something was out there uh, come in I'm mrs. Drake I take it you and Nancy drew yes and I really did see something mrs. Drake I heard something too oh, people are always seeing and hearing things on the moor at night Especially you Americans. Why don't you just go on up to your room? It's the one with the moon on the door. I'd like to see Linda, if I could. I'm afraid Linda is uh, not quite ready to meet with you just now. But please, come see me after you've unpacked. I'll be in the conservatory. All right, thank you. Wow. It has been 16 years since I played this game with my brother and sister. And despite the fact that everything <laughs> looks like it's made of clay, it's still pretty spooky. I love the atmosphere. So we got the inventory, but nothing, obviously. We got the freaking notepad. Tells me everything I need to do. I'm finished with that. That's right. It took a little bit to get this game running, though. Um, this is not the Steam version of the game. Um, this is the disc version from way back, from like 2004. Um, we have a lot of Nancy Drew games, but this one was the first, so I decided to take it out for a spin. Wonder what goes there? Yeah, there's not much we can do right now. I think, though, Linda Conservatory.
the controls, dude. I do not miss the controls. Yeah, I don't remember what any of this means. I remember some things, but not enough to spoil it for me. This is the Drew residence. Please leave a message at the beep. I don't need to talk to anyone at home. Hello? Oh, the mouse is a little bit off. Just a little bit off. Enough to be annoying. You have reached the Petros. No one can come to the phone right now. Feel free to either leave a message or call back. Thank you. Hello, Mrs. Petroff. It's Nancy Drew. I just arrived at Blackmore Manor. Why don't you give me a call when you get the chance? Bye. Nah, I don't really leave voicemails. Not unless it's really important. Otherwise, I just call you back again another time. It's so annoying. It's, it's so annoying, like, listening to voicemails, especially when you've been getting, like, a bunch of random spam calls. Now your voice box is just full of just random garbage. I hate that. Dude, texting is so much better. I'm so, I'm so glad we moved away from this. Hello? Hi, Ned. Hey, Nancy. Let's see. What's, what's the more socially awkward option? What's going on? <laughs> Let's just say that so far your call is the high point of my day. So how's Blackmore Manor? A little on the spooky side. And what has Detective Drew discovered so far? Just calling to say hi. I'll talk to you soon. I'll be waiting. I still have a notification. What is this? Email? Email messaging. Ew. <laughs> oh boy, emails, dude. Emails. The Hardy Boys. I think they help out. They give you hints and stuff. There was a couple of games I think they showed up in. I played one. It was like tropical. It was like an island. And you have the option to play as these two sometimes. What are these losers, dude? What a bunch of losers, dude. Emailing me. What's this? Oh yeah, George and Bess are like my two best friends. In the game. Yeah, I don't think any of this is really too important. I just wanted to get rid of that notification. I'm one of those people. No email service. Oh, so I guess they just send it before I left then? Otherwise, how did I get these emails? It's whatever though. Let's check this stuff out. Hmm, a tripod. For a camera, maybe? Wait, for a camera? It's clearly for like a telescope. Am I crazy? This is <laughs> this is clearly for a telescope. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Makes sense, right? You got it? You figured out the puzzle? What is this? Did I just get a new email that they said I can't get? What's the notification? I hate this. Oh, that's frustrating.
the mouse is just just a little bit off. <laughs> Why stars seem to move? Um, because the Earth is flat and everything revolves around us, obviously. Do you really need to to Google that, Nancy? So let's find Linda and Mrs. Drake. I believe that's the things, first things we gotta do here. How the hell do I have to learn this? Yes, I'm afraid you do. If I do well, can we play a game? Yes, but only in French. Oh. It's a little bit of French. Don't remember too much of it, unfortunately. Let's ring the doorbell. It's not our doorbell. I need the key. I need the key. Okay, maybe just knock. This is not a good time. How about now? Come back later, please. We're in lessons right now. Come back later, please. This is not a good time. Yeah, I think it just loops. It is not like any achievements for being an annoying asshole. So let's get out of here. Hmm. Hmm. Don't forget it. Stay in Italy as long as you want. Then some kind of husband you're proving to be. It's not all in my head. Don't bother. I know I should go in there, but as a socially awkward person myself. <laughs> <laughs> But as a socially awkward person myself, I'll come back to it. This, however, I do remember. Hello. Oh, it's just a parrot. Scared ya! <laughs> Dude, Lulu is the best character in this entire game. I'm not gonna disrespect you like that. No, you didn't. Did you? Did you? What's your name? Lulu! 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 Okay, I get the point. Lulu. Lulu, 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 Lulu. Ah, uh, yes. An English speaking person asking a bird if they know Latin. The most logical. Bye, bird. Bye, bird. And the winner is Lulu. I think the option is just for us, the stuff we have in our room, but I don't know anything about that quite yet. I need the key. And the winner is Lulu. Okay. The time has come for <laughs> closing books. This must be Mrs. Drake's room. Guess she's not in her room. God, the music still fucks with me a bit. Feels like I'm about to be murdered. Oh, lotion, perfect, dude. This winter's got me ashy. Linda? Mm -mm. Hi, it's me, Nancy Drew. Nancy Drew, our friendly neighborhood detective. Well, welcome to Blackmore Manor. I apologize for greeting you under such unusual circumstances. Yeah, so like, how are you feeling? So how are you feeling? How am I feeling? Well, I feel like... <laughs> <laughs> oh no. I feel like something really strange is happening. I prefer you not be more specific. Could you be more specific? Could I be more specific? Ah, the ace detective is grilling me for details. <sighs> I'm tired all the time, my mouth is dry, my vision is blurry, but that's not important. Here's what's important, Nancy. There are some doors that should never be opened. 
There are some doors that hold secrets which must never be known. That's everything you need to know. Now if... Mommy, can I come in? <laughs> no. You're supposed to be in your lessons. Lessons are over. I want to meet Nancy. Yes. I said no, Jane. Okay. Please, I feel very... That was my stepdaughter. She can be such a pest sometimes. I feel very unsafe. Anyway, I understand you feel an obligation to my mother, but trust me, there's nothing you can do. You're welcome to stay, but I strongly recommend that you go home as soon as possible. I agree. Please, Linda, just tell me what's wrong. Linda? Okay, I'll let you rest, but I'll be back. I'm here for you if you need me. Is there anything else I can look at? No, I think it's just her. Hello. There goes my cell phone. Hello? Hi, Nancy. It's Mrs. Petrov. How is everything? Have you seen Linda yet? Yes, and I'm afraid she seemed really depressed. I'm just about at my wit's end. I've never known her to act like this. The last doctor that examined her said that aside from a little dry skin, which is not unusual for her, she was perfectly fine. She just needs more water, dude. Drink more water. Seems to fix everything. Why is she hiding behind that curtain? I have no idea. When I was out there last week, I got fed up and pulled the curtain back. She threw a fit, but otherwise she looked absolutely normal. A little pale, perhaps, but who wouldn't be pale, cooped up like that? Something has changed her. Something in that house. Hugh is just as bewildered and upset by her behavior as I am. Please get to the bottom of this, Nancy. You're our last hope. Yeah, I'm hearing a lot of concern for yourself. Uh, not a lot of concern uh, for Linda. Where is Hugh? He was called to Rome. As a diplomat, he's always being called out of the country without warning and without any say in the matter. He'd much rather be there with Linda. Although... Although what? Oh. Mrs. Petrov? <laughs> it's an option. Are you there? <laughs> Just that Hugh said it hasn't been very easy for him to talk to her lately. Whenever he calls, which is at least once a day, Linda always seems to fly off the handle for no reason. Which doesn't make sense. Linda has always been extremely level-headed and even-tempered. She never gets angry. At least she didn't used to. This is probably just a case of someone not feeling heard. That would be my diagnosis, and I say we should go home after that. Who well, exactly is Mrs. Drake? She's Hugh's aunt. She's taken care of Blackmore Manor ever since her brother died. He was Hugh's father. She's a bit of a character. Yeah, I haven't really talked to her too much. In what way? The way she spends all her time in that conservatory, slouching around, trowel in hand, murmuring to herself. You'd think she was burying something. Or somebody. Yeah, thank you. Goodbye, Mrs. Petrov. Goodbye, Nancy. Oh, one more thing. My niece is on call and her husband's out of town, and, and I told her I'd go over there and babysit if she had to work. So if you call and I don't answer, that's why. Bye. Okay, so I know we gotta go to the conservatory to talk to her. It seemed like, um, that one girl, I already forget her name. I feel so bad. <laughs> Wanted to meet me. So I think we're gonna go to that room next. Let's save it real quick. <laughs>